Oh, hey there, everyone. I mean, lovely Dandy Nong. Isn't that great? I'm on my way to a friend's place. Um, yeah, a bit of an awkward situation. Someone called and said I was suicidal. I'm absolutely not. I'm absolutely safe. And I'm not suicidal. I'm not delusional. I'm not hearing voices. And I'm not having ideas of reference, anything. This is the method to incarcerate me um, by authorities, um, which is really shit, because I don't need to be incarcerated. What I need is justice and a home and my detriments to be paid and for government to acknowledge my detriments. But I've been excommunicated from um, Australian um, political life. My former partner is an ASIO agent. He exploited me, owes me a settlement and no government agency will admit that relationship ever existed. I'm not insane. I'm actually pretty happy for what's um, um, been happening for me, which is a total and utter blackout from the Australian government. I'm banned at AFCA. The Australian Human Rights Commission won't investigate my human rights abuses. I've lost every settlement that was due to me over 20 years worth millions of dollars. And now the NDIS has failed to look after me and I have no home. So um, um, it's a difficult situation. Um, and now um, they've literally robbed me blind, denied my human rights, denied me legal agency, they've destroyed my business and they've absolutely destroyed everything about my character and my reputation. I'm a doctor of philosophy. I'm not incapable, I'm actually really capable. But I've been difficult to get ahead with all of these systemic and political blocks in the way. I don't want to go to hospital. I'm actually quite fine. And I'm going to hit the frog and toad. Um, <laughs> I've already called them and said I'm fine. Um, but as soon as I call them, they say, they'll say, oh, we want you to come into hospital and then they'll put an order in if I don't. So I've called them, I've let them know I'm fine. I'm just waiting for confirmation that they've received that, that I'm okay. Maybe you can share this video with them. And um, until then, um, I guess I'm on the run as an innocent um, fugitive of, um, and a political prisoner who's been excommunicated by the Australian government. Um, it's really sad. My family and friends have forsaken me and um, I've got no one to call. So I do have some people to call. Thank God for the internet. Anyway, look, it's Rich. I'm okay. Um, Tass, can you look after my dog while I'm gone? And um, Ibrahim, it's, it's not okay that you've moved me on from the house on, on Friday. I need an insurance that um, I'm not going to be incarcerated as a political prisoner. And I need um, a guarantee that I'm going to have a safe place to stay because my former partner, having been done for a million dollars embezzlement, is now threatening to kill me and my dog. And I can't go to police, I can't be a whistleblower, and I can't get a lawyer. This is a difficult situation for me, and um, I'm just trying to go through it the best way I can, um, step by step. And, you know, my carers have now become my abusers. And um, the lawyers are all corrupt. The ombudsmen have all been in on it. And even the Office of Prime Minister and Cabinet refused my freedom of information um, after first citing it as voluminous and complex. That would be true because I've worked all over this country as an advocate, been across TV, news, radio, and um, I was an illustrator for the H and the Herald Sun and got a human rights award winning book. And my former partner is an ASIO agent, so there you go. Of course, I'd be on the record um, at the Office of Prime Minister and Cabinet, but it was very deceptive that they said there's no documents existing. That's the way I've been locked out. Oh, and Anthony Albanese wrote to me the other week after I wrote my letter to him with all the detriments and problems that I have. And um, he referred me to the Attorney General, Mark Dreyfus, but Mark Dreyfus referred, officers referred me to the Ombudsman and AGIS, so we'd rest our ASIO, but both those agencies already know who I am. They've already um, been aware of my issues and refuse all further comment. It's hard being um, blocked out of the Australian government as scapegoat, um, and it's really quite um, difficult to find someone who understands because people have prejudice and they 
um, they're ashamed of me or they have shame for me. But it, really all this is not my shame to embody. I'm actually a good person, I'm misunderstood, and I just want to live free from hospital and free from oppression. And um, it's hard to hide um, from authorities um, or your carers when your carers and the police are also your abusers. It's difficult for me, so if you can help, um, I'd appreciate you could pay ID me, that'd be good. 0451 804410. Or you can um, send me an email on richarddrawsstuff at gmail.com. I'd like some support. I'd like someone to have a drink with. I'd like a hug and a cup of tea. That's care. It's not incarcerating you in a hospital with bad food, mind-numbing medication, which I don't want or need. And it's, a, a, it's, a, it's, an, it's just a situation of them framing me as a political prisoner. It's not fair. It's not equitable and it abuses my human rights. I just want to reassure everyone, I'm fine, I'm not suicidal, I'm not delusional, I'm not hearing voices, I'm absolutely fine, um, I don't need hospital. And can someone tell the Cranburn continuing cat team that I'm absolutely fine and um, there's no need um, to place an order if that's what they're going to do. So I'm going to wait out for a couple of days and um, get attached to mind my dog. And um, here we are, it's sunny Danny dog. It's a gorgeous place. Just so you know, I'm here and on the road. And um, travel well, everyone. And um, yeah, see you around. Bye.